Cause I'm treading in deep water. I'm treading in deep water. I moved to Nashville about a year and a half ago. And I moved here because I was told, <laughs> I was told that if I really was serious about songwriting for country radio, I had to be here. And I put it off for about 10 years. <laughs> and now that I'm 34 years old, I'm here and I am finally realizing that every person that told me that is 100% correct. And you have to be in the thick of it if you wanna be successful. My name is Crystal Polly Cronus, and I began writing songs for organizations probably, well actually 2016 was the first time I started trying. <laughs> I am a professional gymnastics coach and I have some connections to the Olympic coaches and some girls who are trying out for the Olympics. And I went out to dinner with them and they said, hey, why doesn't somebody write us a song? for the girls in gymnastics. And I was like, that's a great idea. No one's done that yet. So together with a producer uh, named Marty Walsh, who is actually a professor at Berkeley, he produced the song. It was called It's Our Time. And it was considered for an Olympic theme for NBC for the Olympics in 2016. They ended up going with the Katy Perry song. So, I mean, who can blame them? But the girl we got to sing it, her name is Juliette Goglia. She was a Disney Channel actress and singer. And she actually played on the Michael J. Fox show as Michael J. Fox's daughter, so you can check her out. She's very talented. And then from there, I met a gentleman who was the founder of the Voices of Hope Boston. And Voices of Hope Boston is an organization very close to my heart. They raise money for cancer research for one of the leading hospitals in the country, actually. It's called the Tamir Center. And the reason that I really love this organization is because the doctors and the nurses come to the organization and they speak on behalf of the patients. They read them stories that they had handwritten. They bring us good news, they bring us bad news. But it's a relationship with them that's really important. And so far, Voices of Hope has raised $700,000 for cancer research for this hospital. With music as our voice come together and rejoice raise awareness and support we are the voices voices of hope so i wrote the theme song for voices of hope boston with another co-writer and they have been so generous <laughs> in singing that anthem at their gala every year and it's actually on itunes and a hundred percent of the proceeds from that will go to voices of hope boston I've stayed very close to them even after moving to Nashville because of the relationship that they have with these hospitals, with the hospital. And we are hosting a concert called Country for a Cure, so I get to fly home and open for a country concert down there, which is really exciting. I'm currently working on another song for a gymnastics campaign with everything that was going on in the USA Gymnastics world with this doctor who, oh, I mean, since the 80s has been sexually abusing gymnasts. They have started a campaign called the Athlete Assistance Fund, and they are raising money for these athletes to get therapy, to go and talk to some people. And so I have written a song for a campaign called Girl Power that directly is connected to the Athlete Assistance Fund, and they are raising money for that. And this song is coming out soon, and it will be for the Girl Power campaign. It's a national campaign, so that'll be cool. They'll play that at their get-togethers and their galas and everything. So that's exciting. And then in between all of that, I'm just writing country music and I'm meeting a lot of people and Nashville is just full of creative people who really are interested in helping you 
I need a lot of help. <laughs> I am sort of new. I've been writing for a long time, but getting down into Nashville and really trying to figure out what is wanted on country radio is definitely harder than people think it is. And so I've been very lucky to be able to meet up with some publishers and have them sort of coach me and guide me and keep me in the lines I have to be in because it is different than writing thematic songs or songs for organizations. It's, it's musically, it's very different too. So that's what I've been doing here for about a year and a half now. And I'm really excited for what's to come. I got dreams to chase. So if I had any advice for people, it would be you're here for the long haul. You can't come and call it a five-year plan or even a 10-year plan. If you're coming and, and you have a goal and you have your sites set on songwriting and being successful that you should plan on being here for a very long time. <laughs>